What is poppin', my guys? It is your boy, Ashley the Cat, and I am super, super hyped to finally have some 3DS Draft League content on the channel. How exciting is that? We have week one of the UBLM versus a very close friend of mine, Shime Time. Uh, he, I've, built, I've built with him a good bit, and I've really been looking forward to this matchup. This is a divisional match, so this one, this one takes for a lot so i'm gonna run over the team real quick not like a team builder or anything because I, I don't i don't really like doing those but i do feel like it's important that you know what the mons have so you know we make sacrifices we have benzy the low punny that has low punny eye obviously this has enough speed to i think outspeed thunderous theory and if it was timid so um i think that was the benchmark i was trying to hit or that or it could possibly be post dragon dance charizard can't remember but it's got fake out Ice Punch, High Jump Kick, and Frustration. Bonehead, the Manda Buzz is up next. It's got Rocky Helmet, U-Turn, Whirlwind, Foul Play, and Roost. U-Turn was to help get some momentum, get my sweepers into the game. Um, Whirlwind was in case he started setting up with Curse Lax or DD Charizard, both of which Manda Buzz counter very well with the Rocky Helmet and the Max Defensive Investment. And even though a Foul Play from a plus two Mimikyu can absolutely obliterate this, uh, this Manda Buzz, as long as he can get the Whirlwind out before the Sword Stance, it's not as big of a problem. As well as Calm Mind Slow King, so I knew that this uh, this Manda Buzz set was going to be important this week. Next up, we have Noodles to Tangrowth. I was going to name it Sin Noodles, but I was scared it would be too long, so it's just Noodles. Uh, this also has the Rocky Helmet and is also Max Defense because I was obviously very worried about his plethora of physical options. Like if you look at his team right now, besides the Torkoal and the Slow King, everything on here is a physical powerhouse. So definitely wanted my physical walls to come correct this time. We have uh, on this Tangrowth, we have Sleep Powder, Earthquake, Leech Seed, and Power Whip with that rocky helmet so i liked leech seed on this set to start getting some health back on some things like the snorlax um things like the you can easily throw out a leech seed on anything coming around that on that uh slow king because even if something switches in it's switching into a leech seed so also really like having the sleep powder we do have sleep claws so only one mon can be asleep but sleeping the right mon at the right time can be very very beneficial for you so Next up, we have Third Eye, the Gastrodon. Now, this was also Max Defense. Um, <laughs> I didn't see any of his special Pokemon putting any sort of dent whatsoever into my Gastrodon, so I decided to run Max Defense on that. It's got Ice Beam, Recover, Earth Power, and Toxic, which actually, if you look at his team, can handle pretty much most of his team. Those uh, were just Ice Beam and Earth Power. So, really, really like that set. Then we have Ash Lee, which is I named after my cat, which is, you know, my channel is named after my cat as well. So, that's going to be my Latios with the Soul Dew. This has Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse, Psychic, and Substitute. It's kind of walled by Metagross, and uh, takes a little bit to get through Slow King. So, honestly, not that great of a bring, but I'm hoping that, you know, we get it set up right. We can do something and do a little bit of work. You know, fuck around a little bit. <laughs> uh... Next up, we have Darmana Man, which is our Darmanitan, obviously. This is Choice Scarfed, Sheer Force, U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, and Super Power with enough speed to outspeed a Charizard after a plus one. So, I, uh, I kind of came correct for this game. I, I thought my prep was really good. I, did, I didn't really, like, if you brought some special sweeping mods, I was, I was pretty boned because I don't have any good special walls but i figured he would bring a majority of physical attackers which he did so this battle is going to run us about 15 minute guys as you guys can see right here so we're just going to start it off and hopefully get into it i have watched this once or twice since the game started so i do remember most of the things that happened but obviously as always if i do slip up please forgive me i, I don't i don't do it to harm you or to make you angry <laughs> so that's my boy Shime looking 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 clean and he's gonna lead off with his Metagross so funny thing about this Metagross is after the game I find out from him that this is an assault vest stealth rocks Metagross so he was not able to get those stealth rocks up so here I probably should have just gone for the u-turn the u-turn would have been a much safer play because he had to switch out there's no there's no reason to stay in there but i figured this would still do a pretty good chunk of damage to anything trying to come in and as you can see it does it actually if that did just a little bit more damage i would feel more comfortable going for a second but then he also gets the leftovers recovery so i definitely decided that maybe 
going after this slow king wasn't the best thing I can do. So I'm going to switch out into my Tangrowth. It doesn't have any special investment, but it can definitely take a Scald or something coming from this, uh, sorry, from this slow king. And he's going to throw off the Toxic, which at first I was a little mad I didn't go for Mandibuzz, but having that Mandibuzz be Toxic would be a lot worse than having this Tangrowth be Toxic, because the Tangrowth gets shredded by a couple of different things on his team, whereas the Mandibuzz can wall pretty much all of it, except for a Mimikyu. So I, uh, I definitely was fine with getting a Toxic on this Mon in particular. So he's going to switch right back out into his Metagross, as I think I go for the Sleep Powder. I do go for the Sleep Powder. So now I still have a turn of Sleep to burn. And not my cat just scared me and tried to get into a cabinet. So now I have a turn of sleep to burn. And with Regenerator, I can go ahead and switch this out and be at full health again. So I decided to take this opportunity to switch into my Latios. I didn't anticipate, like I thought he would be like a lead set. So I was like, oh, he probably doesn't have Ice Punch. And if he does, he'll just stay in. So what I do is I decide to go ahead and go up, start with the Substitute. Because based on my calcs, if I can get to plus two or plus three, <laughs> I can two hit KO this Metagross. And if it doesn't have Ice Punch, then I can, I don't know, it, it worked out in, in, in the scenario in my head at the time. It really wasn't that great of a play, but as you see, I am just gonna keep coal mining up these stuff here. And as I said earlier, he's a Soul Vest as well. So even when I get up here, like I think that at plus three, I still only did like 30% max roll on this Metagross. So, really just was not not super proud of the of the plays at this point but i was really nervous to be honest this was uh this is my first big cartridge game like i played vgc and i went to tournaments but i didn't expect to win or anything and uh this this is what a game that was like you know this is against somebody i really i know pretty well and i know they're a good battler and you really want to win it's so nerve-wracking being on cartridge it just feels so much more official than showdown so he reveals he has ice punch and i know i can't stay in so i'm just going to switch out right here in some eyes armanitan forcing the switch again and as you'll see that's exactly what happened he's going to go for the ice punch that's going to do very minimal damage and i'm really glad he didn't switch up and go for earthquake there predicting the switch because that would have been devastating so this time i make the right decision and go ahead and hit that u-turn and that's going to do a pretty much 50 percent even on the slow king which is which is really really nice damage i like i like seeing that kind of thing so right here i'm just going to go into mega low punny and i think i'm going to fake out if i remember correctly because fake out is usually pretty safe and I, the first time i send mega low punny out i like to fake out so that they know that I have fake out so that every time I come in from that point it's a mind game like will he fake out or will he not fake out because if you can goad them into predicting your fake out you can just go ahead and hit return or something like that and do massive damage on something coming in so as you can see we get the crit on fake out which does a pretty good chunk of change I can tell that he's very defensively invested though I went and looked at the calcs and pretty much my only hope of getting a KO here is just going for the frustration, which I ran frustration because I, it's easier to drop the happiness to zero than it is to raise it all the way up to 250 or whatever. So I went with frustration instead of return. And as you can see, that actually doesn't really do any damage whatsoever. So I am uh, I think I just switch out right here into my Gastrodon because I really don't want to take damage on this low pony. It's pretty much one of the main answers I have for a lot of the things on his team. If that Mega Low Pony goes down, that Snorlax is going to eat me up. Absolutely munch, munch, munch all over the team. So I can't let that happen. I have to keep that Mega Low Pony safe. So he's going to get up the Sneaky Pebbles there. I'm fairly certain. I kind of lost track. And I'm just going to fire off the Earth Power. Now, based on my calcs, um, that was a roll. And it appears to be a roll. I mean, he got really low. And what's going to happen here is he's going to fire off the solar beam. And the only thing I can think right now is, oh, wow, I have zero special defense investment. And Gastrodon is going to live on 18 health and activate a little bit of leftovers. So here I'm not playing any games. I don't want to predict the switch or do anything dumb like that. Um, Earth Power is going to hit anything that comes in. Yeah, it will be super effective on Slow King, but it will hit and do damage on anything that wants to come in. So I'm just going to fire off another Earth Power and take out this Torkoal, getting the first kill of the game. So feeling feeling pretty good. Um, I'm running a little bit low on health on my Gastrodon, which sucks because it was a, a kind of one of my main counters to uh, Megazord and Metagross. But 
as you can see he is going to go out for the mimic you and go ahead and smash that play rough now i stayed in because i can't let him set up a free sword stance if he's getting the sword stance up i'm breaking his disguise and i'm going into thor manitan that's just the that's just the way the cookie crumbles so i'm gonna go back here into my sorry <laughs> into my low pony and he's going to withdraw fearing the fake out as i said earlier but knowing that he would fake out oh i'm sorry never mind <laughs> I, I thought i made a good play instead i just hit fake out so you know it happens uh, i might have made a good play later i can't remember this could be in a different league entirely or a different game i I've, I've been playing a good bit of games lately but i'm gonna go straight into this because it is pretty much a very great counter and as you can see i predict the earthquake on accident so that's really nice i love making those plays where you uh, you make the play and it ends up way better than you expected and here i just stayed in and hit foul play which is nice because now i'm gonna break this mimikyu's disguise and there's really not a once i get that disguise broken i can outspeed it with my mega low punny and basically take it out because i think uh either return or high jump kick will take it out 100 percent and i'm gonna get a little bit more chip off that u-turn i mean very 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 minimal chip <laughs> but chip nonetheless and i'm gonna go right here into my tank group because i, I want to keep my manda butts healthy i think it walls everything but this and he goes for the trick room and at this point i looked at my team and i looked at his team and i'm like i eviate everything on my team to outspeed certain things except for my defensive pokemon so here i go on the defensive i use sleep powder and it misses so it lets mimikyu set up the sword stanch which is very very unfortunate and uh, Oh well, my strategy here, basically the only way I'm getting out of this alive is to utilize my defensive walls to basically wall out these turns of Trick Room and then don't let him set it up again. So thankfully I get the Sleep Powder off because Tangrowth is faster than Mimikyu underneath the Trick Room. And this is going to give me an opportunity to either switch or do some damage. Um, but as you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and switch. I want to get my regenerator health back up a little bit. I don't want to waste any turns. And if I go into this, I can whirlwind him out and pretty much come up, come up dead even. So he just has to stay asleep for another turn while I whirlwind him out. That's all. That's all. That all that has to happen. And he wakes up and he uses play rough plus two mimic you absolutely destroys that Amanda buzz so he is going to take a good bit of rocky helmet damage which is nice um but there goes one of my walls and the twisted dimensions return to normal so now i'm like okay bet i can go into scarfed armanitan and blow this boy back and then start sweeping this man's team because he really doesn't have anything to to handle a flare blitz um, and I forget that he has the possibility to have Shadow Sneak plus two and breaks out my Darmanitan. That was a huge loss for me. I really, really wish I would have gone low punny first because he can't, he can't Shadow Sneak me. I'm normal type. I have Fake Out to stop him from doing any damage or whatsoever so here he's anticipating the fake out this is where i made the play and i go for the high jump kick because i looked at what he would bring in and i saw metagross i did the calcs and i realized that if i did high jump kick and i landed it it would be a two hit ko so that's exactly what i did he's gonna bullet punch to try and get a little bit of chip but as you can see it's not very effective it's not gonna do a whole bunch and i'm just gonna lay down another high jump kick and take out this metagross so we did lose the Dormanitan for no reason, which is very, very frustrating. But he is going to bring in King Paul here at pretty much 75%. And I'm just fearing the Psychic or the Side Shock or any, whatever, whichever variant of that move he wanted to bring. And I'm going to go right back out into my Tangrowth, take some Stealth Rocks damage, take a little Toxic damage, and he is going to go for the Trick Room. So now I am like, fuck, I really don't want this Mimikyu to come back in here and start setting up in my face again. I really don't have great Trick Room answers. My Gastron is very low on health. I'm actually not sure if it switches into Rocks and lives. I can't remember, but or i think it already died yes it did already die um this is really the only thing i have left i have this latios and megalopony and megalopony and latios are both um <clears throat> sorry are both ev to outspeed certain things luckily i hit the power whip on this um slow king bringing it down to about 25 percent health and i've just decided i need to let this tangro die pretty much i don't i can't risk switching in either of these sweeping pokemon 
and losing the game because of that. So I just uh, I'm gonna fire off a sleep powder and he's going to avoid the attack, which is very unfortunate. I don't know why I needed the sleep powder. If I could get the sleep powder, then I could have safely switched in one of my sweepers and started doing some damage. And you'll see that I live on two, so he has to choose to attack or something here. Well, actually, I'm gonna switch out. See, I don't know why I didn't switch out earlier, but. Oh well, see guys, you, you learn a lot watching your games over, always watch your replays, that's something I, I highly recommend that everyone do, is watch your replays. So he is going to scald, and see that did nothing, I should have done that way way earlier, because uh, I don't think he's packing shadow ball or anything like that, so as long as he just has scald and psychic, I could definitely get a sub up. Um, and he uses toxic so that's a nice move by him because he is slower than me any attack is not going to do that much damage getting the toxic kind of very much so puts me on a timer otherwise i could just sit behind this substitute and spam call mind until they break it and then just start trying to sweep but because he got that toxic off it's going to severely limit my sweeping capability it was a great play and as someone who has not used trick room shine time is very well uh, sorry is utilizing trick room very well he's playing it incredibly he's making very smart plays and i'm just gonna fire off a dragon pulse here hoping that that kills and as you can see it does not but he's gonna throw up another trick room so we are in for five more turns of hell with this with this fucking slow king and let me tell you i'm starting to get really nervous at this point i think i definitely have the ability to win but it's gonna take very very smart play so here i anticipate him switching into mimic you so i'm gonna switch up my attack and go for psychic and as you'll see here that is absolutely going to do a huge chunk of damage to this mimic you it's gonna bring it down to about 30 percent and i am gonna die off to the toxic here which is very unfortunate but look here's the kicker i can go out to megalopony and hit fake out oh i'm sorry i didn't do that i went into tangro for some reason see again watch your replays you learn a lot and you can grow as a battler by seeing what you've done wrong um mimikyu is going to go for the shadow sneak and just about take me out but i'm going to live fire off an earthquake after the rocky helmet and take out this fucking mimikyu that has been hounding me literally all game it felt very good to knock that mimikyu out and on that note tangrowth is going to take that poison damage and be at about 10 health and i think trick room is still up so he's going to go right here into snorlax which is a definite problem i am just going to die off to the body slam here and that rocky helmet damage is going to do a little bit and so i look at his team and i go okay so there's one turn of trick room left i have to fake out I cannot let this Snorlax do get any damage to me, and even if he switches into something that can take the fake out, I literally don't care. I just have to waste this turn of Trick Room. So there, he flinches, and we turn back to normal, and I now outspeed everything on his team. So I'm going to hit the high jump kick on this Snorlax, and boom, we are going to take it out. So Mega Low Pony snags a kill. This is, this is starting to look up for me, you know. I'm sitting here and looking at his team, and all of a sudden I realize, oh wait, he still has his Charizard X. So, if I can break through this Charizard X and get to the Slow King behind it, we will be all set. We'll be all good. So, but the unfortunate thing is, is that I do not have Fake Out, so I can't stall it and get some damage. I'm going to hit the Frustration. It's going to do pretty much exactly 50%, and he's going to knock me off with the Dragon Claw. So, that's going to be the game. Shime Time wins 2-0, to zero, which I'm really happy with that game. That was a, that was an awesome game. I was a huge fan of uh, of the level of play. I thought, I thought he did a fantastic job. Um, and I like the way I played. Pretty much my only thing, the only thing that I'm sad about is I let my Darmanitan die off of the Shadow Sneak. I should have seen that coming. I should have just gone straight into Low Punny. I even thought about it at the time. I was like, damn, Low Punny can't get Shadow Sneaked here. And then just click, just click our Manitan. So I have to, I have to take a second and really think about, really think about my plays. But uh, and that could have made a lot of difference in the late game too, because Darmanitan could have. I mean, I know that this is a uh, kind of scummy, but Darmanitan after the Charizard was at fifty percent, Darmanitan could have Rock Slid and knocked it out, being scarfed, and uh, just, just kept doing that and trying to break down that Slow King through flinches and, and nonsense like that. So. Anyway, great game to shine time. Really, really happy to be able to be posting 
episodes like this you know uh, i'm super excited that i've said since the beginning of this channel the reason i even have this channel is to is to bring you guys real 3ds content so i'm really really excited that i get to do that please let me know what you think in the comment section below let me know if you would rather me do a full-fledged team builder or if you like the team builder format we have now where i just kind of briefly list through the mons and what i wanted them to outspeed and and all sorts of things like that so uh, just let me know in the comments, you know how it goes. Uh, I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all the bullshit, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.